got some nice hair. <laughs> and some soft lips. Wait. Do you have a condom? No, nah, man, look, don't worry about it. I got you. Just trust me. <laughs> what about pre -com? I feel it before it happened. Don't worry, man. Just trust me. Hey. Are you sure? I'm sure, alright? I promise. I got you, man. This is Angel Walker's mom. May I speak with her homeroom teacher, please? Yes, I'll hold. The hand is quicker than the eye. Uh-uh. Mm, no. Oh, Shadman, that was cool. Mm. That song was stupid, man. Nice. 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 That song was way better. <laughs> Look up. That, you know, that... The trick, the thing that you have in your hands, it was pretty lame. Yeah. 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 Just as about as lame as the boy Chili. I know, oh. right? <laughs> okay. I left your girlfriend. Okay, guys. No. Guys, classes are about to start. I need for everybody to get to where they're supposed to be. Man, I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be. I'm teaching class today. What are you talking about, man? Yeah, you better be wrong. All right. So Ooh, mm, how you doing today, Angel? See, I knew you was gonna come back to see me, right? So I got this new cell phone number that I'm gonna give Lorenzo, it to you. Lorenzo, please, not now, okay? You can call me by, not now. By I mean, you don't know a good thing when you see one? Uh, yeah, that's why I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so now was like, hey, hey, you oh, 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 Tracy. Okay, okay, whatever, whatever. Forget you, forget you, forget you. Forget you. you can't seat. play basketball. Take a seat, everybody. Take a seat. And Take Chad, seat. Seat. this Take is seat. not Ripley's. Hello class. Hi. As you know, this week is health week. And I have the distinct pleasure of welcoming Dr. Bailey. <laughs> Dr. Bailey is here today to discuss with us about sexually transmitted diseases and the effects these diseases can have on your life if not properly treated. So pay close attention, for I will have questions at the end of the session. Dr. Bailey, they're all yours. Thank you, Ms. Watson. It's a pleasure to come and talk to your class. It's about such a very important topic today. Well, before we begin, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. I've been a practicing physician for 12 years in the field of obstetrics and gynecology. This field involves the take, taking care of young, teenage, and adult women in areas including pregnancy, sexually transmitted diseases, breast and menstrual disorders, and cancer. Over the years, I've seen a number of women with sexually transmitted infections. You can see them in all socioeconomic backgrounds and cultures. You can see greater than 20 different types that exist. It costs over $13 million per year to treat these infections on an annual basis. For the guys that are in the audience, you need to pay attention because you can get these infections as well from exposure from a female. Now, you're seeing a picture of a penis with a discharge. This is a person who has been exposed to gonorrhea. As I stated before, it's very important for men to realize it's very important for you to look at the fact that you can be exposed to sexually transmitted infections too. Next slide, please. 
This would spread otherwise from the penile urethra to the cervix. That is actually the cervix you would see as if we placed a speculum in a woman's vagina. You see the purulent discharge coming from the cervix. This infection spreads up into the uterus and can lead to infection of the fallopian tubes. The condition is known as pelvic inflammatory disease. This would lead to the possibility of a woman having problems with infertility or developing a condition known as a ectopic pregnancy, whereby if she became pregnant, instead of the pregnancy normally implanting inside of the uterus, it instead implants in the fallopian tube. If left untreated, it can be life-threatening and at times fatal. Most people would require surgery by the time they get diagnosed. Next slide, please. Students, let's give her a hand. Now, as promised, you do have a quiz on what you've seen and heard. Now, Ms. Ooh, ooh. Can you get an STD if you don't have, you know, sex? Fantastic. Now, Ms. Wilson is passing those out right now, and I want them completed by the end of class. This is from the office. Angel Walker is needed up there. Angel, to the office, please. Job. Mom, what are, you, what are you doing here? What is in your bag? It's nothing, just some clothes. Give it here. You know what? I better not ever catch you wearing anything like this again. Mom, it's just a skirt. Don't you think for one second that your teachers would not call me and let me know how you dress? I don't see why you're trying to dress like these fast tail hoochies anyway. You attract the wrong type of attention. It's just a skirt, Mom. You can't even see anything. Well, you better remember what I said. Because if I have to come back down here one more time, oh, baby, it ain't going to be pretty. Now, you get your butt home right after school, okay? I have to work tonight. Well, you be waiting outside because I'll be right there to get you. Okay, here I come. Are you okay, young lady? What? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Here it is. Are you... 
Are you sure you're okay? I asked for shampoo, not conditioner, sweetie. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Here it is. Thank you. You're welcome. Angel. Are you sure you're okay, hon? Now that you ask, I'm not feeling so well after all. Um, is it okay if I go home early? Sure. Do you need a ride? No, I'm fine. Thanks. Thanks, Michelle. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, I kind of knew already. How? Well, for one, I'm late. And I've never been late before. I mean, I've been throwing up everything I eat, and, and the test was positive. Have you told Tony? No. I just found out you're the first person I told. Well, what about your mom? <laughs> what? My mom would disown me forever. She'd kill me. But how are you gonna hide a baby? I'm not. I'm getting rid of it. You're gonna kill it. If I don't, my mom will kill the both of us, so what's the difference? But how are you gonna get parental consent for an abortion? You're a minor. I don't know. There are local clinics that'll do it. I mean, I just, I just have to do the research. A clinic? You're not going to go to a hospital? Samira, clinics don't ask questions. They just do it. I don't think that's such a good idea, Angel. But, but I'll go with you if you want me to. Yeah? I mean, I'm going to need your support. I got a funny feeling that Tony won't be that supportive. I'm here for you. Set, that'll be fifty dollars. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, have a good one. You too. Bye bye. Hey, Tina. Hey. I didn't know you were in town. Yeah, classes got canceled this weekend, so I decided to come home get some extra studying in. Um, I was thinking about you, so I just decided to stop by. Oh. Um, Angel, are you okay? You look a little pale. No, yeah, I'm fine. Um, look, Angel, I know that you have to get back to work, but I don't know what's going on with you, but just know that you can talk to me, okay? I mean, I just know how tough Ma can be sometimes, and she's gone a lot, but anytime you feel the need to talk to me and I'm here, do so. And if I'm not, just call me. Okay, thanks. And one more thing. I know that you have been seeing Tony. Be careful with him, Angel. Just like I told you years back with Chris, most boys don't have your best interest at heart. And when you're dealing with someone as old as Tony, you really need to be careful. Okay, Tina, I understand. Angel, I know I haven't been perfect either. But I just want you to know that I'm here for you, okay? I'll see you later at the house. Okay. All right. Hey. Hey, got your text message. So what's the emergency? Look, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm just going to come straight out and say it. What's up? I'm pregnant, Tony. So, what, what they got to do with me? What? First of all, how you know you're pregnant? Second of all, why are you telling me? <laughs> oh, no, Tony. Don't even try to go there. I took a pregnancy test, and I'm late. You know you're the only one I've been messing with. Whatever, man. 
I know I'm not your only one. And you know you ain't my only one. What are you saying? Look, I don't sleep around like that. You're the only guy I've been with, Tony. And, and what do you mean I'm not your only one? You're sleeping with other girls? Look, from day one, you approached me in the mall, and you gave it up on the first date. I barely even see you that much. 